when I was a kid, my dad drove truck, big hay truck. And every so often, we got to go on it. If we were lucky, and if we were ready. Ready in my family had a rule. You're not dressed unless you have your shoes and socks on. <laughs> so I'd come up, shirt, pants, everything ready, except I couldn't get the darn socks on. So I'd say, Dad, can I go? And he'd go, I don't have time to get you dressed. And it made me laugh a little, because I was mostly dressed, I thought. So one day, I decided I was going to stop being mad at my enemy, and I was going to play, have fun. So I snuck out, because I didn't want to wake up my brothers and let them have the turn to go with Dad. So I snuck out of the room, up to the living room, with my trusty enemy slash socks. <laughs> and I sat on the edge of the couch, and I stared. This was early in the morning. This was like 3, 4 in the morning. <laughs> because I had to get there before Dad left. I had to get this figured out. So I stared at those socks, and I knew what my mom had done. She would take the socks, and these aren't these, these are cheater socks today. Back then, you know the socks went all the way up. I was small <laughs> knees, and so they went over my knees with the little with the giant blue stripes on the side. <laughs> yeah. These were scary socks. These, man. So I did what my mom did. I bunch started bunching up the sock. And I got all the way down to the toe, and I couldn't stretch it out. And I couldn't do anything down there with my hands anyway. Ugh. So I rolled it. I started rolling this giant mile-long sock <laughs> all the way down. And by the time I got to the bottom, I turned it over. It was like a disc of fabric. There was a little trampoline on one side. But I laid it down, and I thought, the theory is I'm going to just roll it right up my foot. It'll be easy, right? I couldn't even get my toe in there. There was so much fabric I could. I, my, mom was, my mom was the Incredible Hulk or something. She could stretch a whole sock out. I couldn't even roll one up over my toe. So I unrolled it. And here now I've spent at least a half hour. And I know Dad's going to wake up. And I don't have time to have these costly mistakes. So I went back to just staring and playing. Because playing is the other secret weapon when you have troubles. And I finally realized I had enough. I could pick up a sock. And I got a toe in and I thought, oh yeah, that's genius. All right. So I put the other toe in and I straightened it out and I got it open. I was so happy. <laughs> Woo! And then I thought, oh, you know, the third leg that's going to fit into there would be a completely <laughs> different problem. <laughs> So I kept playing with the sock, trying to figure <laughs> stuff out, and I knew I'd gotten somewhere. I actually knew that that toe idea was good. So I started playing with that, put it in, and then I realized I could scrunch the other foot. So I tried it, and eventually I realized if I get my baby toe to hold that other side open, I could pull the whole thing over my toe. Yeah! Progress, right? Progress. I loved it. And then I used the side of the couch, the carpet, and I scrunched it all up. And I ran into a speed bump. Another speed bump, I know. This bump, okay, now, I don't know how many of you have recently tried to put on skinny jeans. <laughs> but I just want you to look and notice that a heel is suspiciously butt-shaped. <laughs> I couldn't get that whole, that whole ball of fabric that I had rolled up before. It wouldn't go over the heel either. Oh, another half hour. So I started playing again and again. What can I do? Well, I knew it. I knew it had to be just something random. And I was starting to figure this out. So I kept playing with it. And I pulled it on. And I realized if I held it long enough, I could pull it all the way to the heel. And just hold it the whole way. Yeah, I got a sock on. Yeah, I was just as happy.
happy. And I said, now, now it's a science. All I got to do is the same thing on the other foot. So I flip that thing around, go at it. And like I said, it's a science. You know what you, I know what I'm doing now. You put one toe in, you put the baby toe in, you pull it up. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. You got to use the other. There's no toe. <laughs> well, now I'm done. I'm tired of all the speed bumps. And thankfully, for whatever reason, my baby toe on the other foot itched. So I started scratching it. And I realized, after I got done scratching it, that I had built a toe. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Who says non-GMO? <laughs> so I did it again. Now let's see if the science works with the fake toe. Put in the, stretch it all out. Get the fake toe in there. Get the right side of the baby toes in there. And pull it on, same as the other! Yeah! Yes! Yes! So I run down to the hall, down the bedroom, pull on my pants, pull on my shirt, slip on my shoes, and I'm hearing Dad's alarm, I hear him walking down the hall, and we meet at the front door. And I say, Dad, Dad, I'm ready to go. Can I go with you on this trip? And he says, oh, it's a two or three day trip. I can't take anybody this time. Oh. I was sad for about half a second because, and this is the only way I remember this story, is giant, all caps letters, first entry in a brand new journal. Today, I learned how to put my socks on by myself! Yeah.